Good news, everyone. This is Ruslan Akhmedzianov with you from QA Meta Software. I'm doing developer relations and these videos in particular. This is the very first video of so-called QA Meta Live, where we are going to tell you all the about all the amazing stuff we are doing with our development team. Something like any new adapter, new plugin, new integration, or a new feature will be covered within such videos. And today we'll try to stay like concise within five or 10 or 15 minutes. And today uh, I'm happy to introduce uh, Vova Simeonov, software developer from QA Meta Software. Hey, Vova. Hello. And we will talk about the Newman Reporter, uh, like newly redone and created by our team. It is a new integration in our LURGS repository. So, Vova, what is Newman and why we actually decided to create an, by ourselves a Newman adapter for Allure? Um, so, hello again. And I guess you are familiar with Postman. It's a platform for building and using APIs. Also, you can write tests for each of your API endpoints directly in Postman interface to make sure uh, there is no regression after you make uh, API changes. And Newman uh, is uh, official command line runner for Postman API collections. It allow you to uh, integrate Postman collections checks into your favorite continuous integration tools to make sure there is no uh, regression and your release is uh, fine and shiny. Our reporter allow you to generate powerful and easy to understand reports uh, from the Newman executions. Yeah, so uh, sounds like an amazing thing, but uh, what kind of work has been done? Because didn't we already have a Newman reporter somewhere in the world before? It's a good question because uh, we have a very big community and I can bet you $10 that if you Google any test framework name plus Allure, it uh, will give you uh, some GitHub repository with uh, the library that generate Allure reports. Uh, that's the beauty of open source and why I love it so much. Uh, so we decided to found the best existing solution in the wilds of GitHub and NPM and consider it to cooperating with the after. Uh, unfortunately, the library hasn't, hasn't been updated for like two years because uh, the old ma maintainer didn't have uh, time for maintaining. So what we have done, uh, we took the old repo and moved it into the Allure Framework organization where all official JS integrations uh, are developed, uh, fix it uh, most of the existing issues and rewrite everything uh, to TypeScript uh, for the more easy maintenance and better developer experience. Uh, of course, uh, if we're creating something for QA community, it also must have a lot of tests. So we added some and most importantly, we bring metadata support so you can uh, link epics, stories. Uh, great job, folks. Thank you for that. And another thing I wanted to like check and note is that now the Newman reporter is within the official, within the number of officially supported adapters uh, or integrations for Allure. So that means it will be supported for some like relatively long time from now on and we are not going to drop it or get tired of it or something because we as a open source driven company trying to make our open source projects as long uh, live, as longer living as, as possible and as up to date as possible so let's take a look at how it works actually so share your screen please and show us okay let's go first of all you need to install your dependencies uh of course, it, you need to install a human and a human reporter Allure. Uh, also, you need to add uh, Allure to your test scripts as a reporter, and you can run your tests like that. Okay. Uh, after that, you can generate your Allure reports. Okay, uh, now we get a very beauty and powerful Allure HTML report. Uh, so you can see how much tests you have uh, or 
other good uh, dashboards like you can see your suits and discover what's going on inside your tests uh, for example this test is failed because uh, it got uh, wrong status it need to be 200 and we gonna we got another one so you can see a uh, response we got you can see request we got and uh, method we used so it's uh, really easy to understand what's going on and fix uh, bug uh, fast. So uh, you can generate your Allure report and uh, what's uh, really good, you can use Allure uh, framework metadata to make like categories, severity uh, or other metadata information to better understand what's going on inside your tests. Uh, if you're using Allure test ops, you can uh, just upload your test in one click. Uh, you... I believe so uh, that if you are going to use Allure test ops in one click, you will need to install the VS Code plugin, which also has been recently developed, but that's okay. So. Here is the test ops interface you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can upload your tests to Allo test ops and get uh, more beautiful dashboards and uh, see what's going on. Uh, and all of your tests will be stored inside test ops. You can see historical data. You can see other good uh, insights. Like you can analyze your tests and so on and so on. So uh, like that. Yep. So basically, this thing actually supports all the features Seller Desktops provides. And at this point, it's better to, uh, for everyone who is watching us or listens to us, to go for a full, like full stack um, Allure Desktops overview because the number of functionality and features there is amazing and huge. And we're not going to dive deep into this. So let's just, just yes. And the last question is. Uh, what are the plans for the future of the project? So are you going to do anything later or what? Of course, there is uh, some existing issues and uh, we're working on it uh, and it will be fixed soon. Uh, we're trying to stay in touch with the users and improve the library based on the feedback. Uh, so you can visit the Allure JS wrapper and leave your feature requests and even make pull requests. We would love it. We yes. would love it. Yeah, great. So we are not the team who actually keeps pull requests open for a couple of years after you tried to create them. So feel free to provide anything you want. And if you want to share your feedback or to contribute to the library or to create your adapter, I will like put the link under the video to Allure.js repository and Allure 2 repository. If you are a user, just drop us a star. And of course, subscribe and wait for next videos. We're going to talk about something amazing. Thank you, Vova, and thank everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.